Well, anyways, did you guys see this Bluetooth boy? Look at the Bluetooth boy. Speaking up well. For more than a decade, Gert Jan Oskam has been trying to relearn to walk. A motorbike accident in his late 20s left him paralyzed from the hips down, changing his life forever. But now, Oskam is back on his feet, thanks to groundbreaking digital implants in his brain and his spine. After two days, within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, hips. It works like this. When Oskam thinks about taking a step, a brain implant picks up the signals and sends them to a computer strapped to his back. The computer decodes it, then transmits the signal to a device in his spinal cord, triggering his legs to move. Scientists say it's like a digital bridge that bypasses the damaged part of his spine. The patient has first to learn how to work with his brain signals, and we also have to learn how to correlate this brain signal to the spinal cord stimulation. Scientists were shocked to find it may have helped close the gap in his nervous system. I'm here. Yeah. In less than a year, Ostom gained the ability to walk with crutches even when the device is turned off. They gave him what in the world? They let him walk with a Bluetooth device and then your his brain was like I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. That's wild. Your his brain was like, "Oh yeah, that's what walking's like." I guess I'll put the I guess I'll put the pieces back together. The legs have returned. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, even when yeah, even when the device is turned off, his brain is like, I'm just gonna walk now. I think I've decided I think I've decided I want to walk again. That is pretty massive. But can you imagine like you does has anybody ever had a Bluetooth transmitter on their on, on their car or something? Like what happens when somebody drives by with a similar Bluetooth signal? Will he will, but when they're like playing music with their Bluetooth speaker? And then is it, it, it can, can there accidentally be interference or something like he's trying to walk to, to work or something with the Bluetooth uh, device on and then somebody walks by while while playing a new hit song and then he just his legs start dancing on their own like he just got hit with the goddamn Groovatron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he starts like, he starts uncontrollably da uncontrollably dancing. He has a, a quick and he has to reach into his pocket and grab his phone to change the uh, to change the Bluetooth frequency. Not that he gets hit with the boogie bomb. <laughs> uh, somebody throws a Groovatron at him. Yeah, he started. He starts dancing. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's like that. Um, it, it'll be like that one Jimmy Neutron episode where they have the dancing pants. Oh man, and you can't you can't stop dancing because the pants is dancing. It makes your your legs dance for you. That'd be so scary. They say it's Bluetooth. It is Bluetooth, if I remember correctly. Uh, they didn't say Bluetooth here, but paralyzed man walks again using Bluetooth to connect his brain to his spine. Yeah, it's uh, what, what connects the brain to the spine is a Bluetooth connection. Why Bluetooth? It's just easy. It's easy. He could connect his phone to it. You think like the first thing that they thought of uh, on how to do this would be like connecting your phone to your uh, connecting your phone to your spine. So and then you can like use it, you use the phone to like move your legs, but with your hands. And so it would be like it'd be like real life quap. What real life clop? <laughs> I'm so glad they I'm so glad they went with the let him actually do it with his his brain like normal walking, bruh. <laughs> I'm just glad that he was able to walk again. I think this is actually super sick. Like moving into the future, this is actually really cool. This could help a lot of people walk again. The brain is such a wacky place. Life-changing abilities he didn't have after a previous experimental implant, which only let him take a few clunky steps. I am in full control of what the stimulation does. And that gives me a lot of freedom, which I didn't have with previous therapy. Listen, the crazy thing is, like this, he doesn't seem like he's walking too much, but mind you, he hasn't walked for 10 years. He has to like re literally like regrow muscles in his legs to walk again. So being able to walk like this after being wheelchair bound and unable to feel his legs for 10 years. That's insane. Researchers say it's an incredible step forward from older. Nice joke. Technologies that could detect brain signals or stimulate muscle movement, but not both. OK, but like I know that's really cool and interesting, but could you make the, the helmet look cooler or something? Can you like give it horns or something? You know what I mean? Because the helmet does not look cool right now. All those components together in a human with spinal cord injury and having them talk in, in quasi real time, it's a breakthrough, really. It's not a cure. 
Oscom can still only walk several hundred feet a day and stand without help for a few minutes. But for the first time since his accident 12 years ago, Oscom can do things most of us take for granted, like get out of a car or stand at a local pub. It was uh, a long journey, but uh, at the end, I can really build uh, functional things from it. A long journey now giving hope to other patients still striving to take that first step. So far, Oscom is the only... Oh my goodness, white man jump scare. How oh, nice. Thank you, Oscom. I hope they, I hope, I want, I hope they check back in in Oscom in like a couple years to see how, can you imagine if he was like moving and grooving in 10 years or, in, in like the next like five years or something? Prosthetic fashion is going to be wild. I, are, are there, are there like normal prosthetics like you can attach in, in video games now where you can just like, just like slap it on and now it just moves like a normal, well, it doesn't move like a normal hand, but you know, it can just like control. Does that actually work? Also, that takes like battery, doesn't it? I'm I'm just waiting until we have auto mail. Can you imagine how crazy it would be? What something that I haven't seen yet is people like getting into decorating your own prosthetics. Like, oh, you get a prosthetic and everything, but all the prosthetics seem functional. When are we gonna have cool prosthetics? Yeah, when are we gonna have like cool auto mail? Yeah, when are we gonna have to like a? Uh, I don't know. I guess I haven't met anybody with like prosthetics yet, with like cool prosthetics, but. When are we gonna get not st like more than stickers? I want it to be like even more customized than just stickers, because people, you know, they they customize their cast. If you can customize your cast, and that's not a, a on for anywhere near the amount of time that a prosthetic typically is. I want like I want some really cool like maybe maybe hopefully one day in our lifetime there's going to be a there's going to be like prosthetics. That could go grievous mode, you know what I mean? Can you imagine if you can go like general grievous mode? Like you lose your arm in a uh like like you lose your arm in a fucking accident or something, but then you get like the new the new thing, it kind of straps on, but then it can like divide into two arms, and then you can like use it to to type or something, and then it can like move in different that'd be crazy. Or you can be like double gripped up. That'd be crazy. That'd be really cool. Starting to happen here and there. It needs to happen more. I want my I want my amputee brothers and sisters to be able to have the coolest fucking auto mail this this side of the Mississippi. I want their shit to be badass. I want them to never miss. I I not I not only want them to not miss their their old limb. I want them to be be happy, very happy, ecstatic with their new limbs. A second prosthetic dick. No. No. Some school shooter is gonna s s smuggle an, a an AR into their prosthetic. You think? But they won't be able to fit an AR into their prosthetic. But they be may be able to fit like some type of firearm in there. You know? Can you imagine if it goes? Full What's that character from uh from uh from One Punch Man? The robot guy from One Punch Man. You'll be able to have like cannon arms, like uh like him or like Cyborg or something from uh from uh Teen Titans. Genos, yeah. They, they can have a nine millimeter in their arm. Yeah, they definitely could have that. I think they should probably not sell gun arms. As cool as it would be, you probably shouldn't be selling gun arms. Gunos. Do not say Gunos. <laughs> like this? Yeah! Like this. Now this goes crazy. Now this goes crazy. The spike leg. I thought this was an edit. No, that's actually just what it looks like. Now this goes crazy. Now this is what I'm talking about. I want my average I want my average amputee to be able to have legs like this. That's sicko nutty mode. That's crazy actually. That looks really cool. The crab leg. She walking. <laughs> she walking like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Oh, I think those may those there's a possibility that those were boobs, but I'm just going to leave and not check if they actually were. They were not actually boobs. That's good to know. I'm going to be I'm going to stay leave though. Okay, whew. Thankfully. Huh. Ugh. Those were not boobs. Okay. Did she just as you can see, she just has a but those aren't boobs. Oh, those aren't like <laughs> those aren't nipples. Wait, there's one with a speaker in it? There's one with a speaker that comes in it? It's got like a <laughs> it's a it's a it's a walking boom box. Her chastity remains secure. My virginity stays intact. Yo, look, it has like a, it has like the fleshy bit at the bottom too, to make it look like it's a, 
It's a real foot. That's crazy. That actually is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. This is what I'm talking about. We need stuff like this and cooler stuff. It needs to get even cooler than that, too. How much do these even cost? Multiple thousands of dollars, I would imagine. Gadget arm. You can you can go go gadget arm. Oh, it's all steampunk. OK, this one may be a little cringe. Oh, I know this one's definitely really cringe. Never mind. It's not real. It's still a gadget arm, but it's still cringe. Like as a laser pointer and and a little pointy thing as a magnifying glass and it's got like who's he watch it's and thingamabobs and it's got some leather and some plastic and some metal. Oh, look and the finger pops off and now there's matches in it. and It's got a flashlight. Wow. You know, come on. Go, go gadget fat cock. What's lovers 2045 to lovers rest? What? What's lovers rest? What in the world? <laughs> what what is this? What is this goddamn typewriter cafe ass legs that they're making? I mean, they're kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. This does look kind of kind of sick, but like it it it, w it would be even more sick if they were made in like the 1950s, where it looks like you're actually designing these from. Are those train tracks? You want to see something cool? I could pop open your leg and you can shoo, like move back a little train. Back and forth on the train tracks. Okay. <laughs> There's a gun. Kill. Oh, there isn't. Oh. <laughs> I was joking about you actually putting a train. Choo choo, motherfucker. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. I didn't think they were actually going to do it. All right. Okay, then. Limbs. What else they got? Crystal leg. I think we saw this, right? Yeah, we definitely saw this one. More limbs. Can I just click on limbs? Can I scroll through all of their limbs? Their limb system? What is this one? What is that? It's wood? All healed up on a Thursday afternoon. Is that a, is that a bird? Is there a cuckoo clock in, your, in the leg? The machine does not look impressed. Yeah, that's definitely something. Yeah, that is on the scale of one to something. That is definitely a something. Is there electric in that one? Yo, this one's got like a Tesla coil in it. It does. It has a Tesla coil in it. What in the world? <laughs> now that's cool. Now that's what I call cool. Imagine termites. They're in my leg. My leg. What is this? <laughs> they gave him all the gadgets. He's smiling. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, it's all charged up. Oh, I think this one does actually work. The phantom limb. What's this one? Now I'm interested. Now I'm looking at all of them. Yo, look at that. I don't think that boy moves. Yeah, I don't think that moves at all, but it's still be existing. And that's something. That that boy don't move at all. But what's this one? I saw this one had springs in it. What? What are you doing to these people? What are you doing to these poor people? Have they not suffered enough? What is this? What? Is, it's fleshy. It moves. She can like beat. She can like whip people with it. The, the corn cob arm. That's not a corn arm. That's like an alien dick. <laughs> Could you? What? What is? They gave her like the Davy Jones uh, like tentacle arm. What is that? What is that? I don't, I don't want the tentacle corn arm. Not really. I've seen e girls with with toys like this set up on shelves. That's crazy. I've seen OnlyFans girls with things like these. I don't know where they put them. I don't know what they do with them, but that's curious. Good for her. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> oh, man. What in the world? Well, that was cool. All right, chat. What did we learn? What did we learn from this excursion? What do you all think? Imagine, imagine getting, imagine getting your ass beat with the tentacle arm. Oops. Country girls make do. Uh, slorp. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.